guys, Patriot coming to you from the desktop, and I'm really excited about this product you're going to look at today. This is the FNA Compensator by Aries Armor. It's a fully tunable compensator that you can adjust to your specific rifle and your specific ammunition. Uh, it's pretty unique uh, in the industry. There's no other comp that I know of that works quite like this one. And having several hundred rounds under the belt through this comp, I'm pretty impressed. And I did a lot of experimenting. You can see the unique packaging here that it comes in in a little uh, prescription medication uh, container. It says, take for the management of recoil symptoms. If symptoms persist, adjust as needed, which fits right into that tunability that I told you about. For severe cases, reevaluate technique. Love that. As a machine gun shooter, since I was just a little, little tyke, uh, I've seen lots of strange technique out there, so I really appreciate that they would put that on there. There's some other cool stuff here on the side. I'll take a picture of that. If you want to stop the video and read that, go for it. Let's go ahead and open this up. One of the things that I like about this whole thing is just the marketing. It really uh, creates an image and it's, uh, it's unique. Another part of the marketing here is the earplugs. This thing is loud. It uh, vents a lot of gas out to the side, uh, but that's just the, uh, the BIPOC product or the, uh, the result of being so efficient. Throw that aside. It does come with some paperwork. It says limited edition FNA compensator, 5.56 millimeter. This is to certify that the purchaser received a real one, basically. This is number 54 of 100. There was 100 of these made in the initial first run and 30 of these in stainless. Mine, of course, is the carbon steel style that is blued, uh, so it's kind of nice. has the uh, some paperwork with it there. Here's the compensator itself, and along with the compensator are a couple of other things that you'll be using. Here are three different thicknesses of crush washers, or um, you can see that they've got the little teeth that's going to help them to bite a little bit into the metal. On the back of the, uh, the compensator, you can see where I had this one mounted here, and, uh, and to press, press fit against the barrel. So you'll dial this thing in typically so that you'll have straight up being right here. This would be the 12 o'clock position between this row and this row. Here are the little tiny set screws, I'll call them. They're not tapered screws, but there is a bottom to each one of these portholes. So when you screw that in, it won't continue to go inside the compensator. It stops well short of entering the inside of the expansion chamber. Uh, so that it gives you something rigid to tighten down against or it gives you a stop to tighten down against so you don't have to rely on Loctite completely you actually bottom out the uh, uh, set screw until it stops let's give you a good close look at that you'll see here it says first run 54 of 100 made might be a little hard to see right here it says Aries armor and what you're looking at here are four set screws one two three four that were left in there from the last gun that this came off of, which was a full auto M16 uh, M4 configuration. Up front, it's actually threaded again, and the reason for doing this was so that you could stack two of these compensators together if you needed to. Now, after firing this compensator by itself, I can't really imagine the need for stacking two, but I could see the benefit if you had a very lightweight barrel in that additional weight up front, come overcoming that initial recoil impulse as that round starts to travel down the barrel. It uh, creates inertia and uh, before the gases can even affect or compensate for the rise of the barrel, it, it does start to move up. So what happens is a gas pulse pushes it back down to where you started. And this is really easy to see with the uh, with a four minute of angle or an eight minute of angle red dot uh, sight of some type. So a good way to do it is just to stick it down uh, range 25 yards on a, uh, on a uh, Ipsic target or a, a human torso of some type. Fire this and watch what that dot does. 
Obviously, you can't be blinking every time you pull the trigger, but uh, with a little practice, you can stare at that dot and see exactly what it's doing. And you can rotate this compensator left or right or plug or unplug these ports in order that you get just a perfect return with that dot. So even if the rifle does move slightly to the one o'clock position, you want to see that it comes up and returns exactly to where you started. No matter what level of tuning this comp is at, you'll always see some dot movement, but what's important is that it instantly returns to the exact same point that you started at, and this comp does that. All right, the compensator itself is exactly one inch in diameter. and just over two inches long comes in at just under 53 millimeters just a hair under 53 millimeters the exit hole here at the muzzle is ten thousandths over so you got five thousandths on either side of the bullet that is a tight bullet exit hole there uh, <laughs> I had to measure it a couple times before I felt felt sure about shooting it, but uh, as it turns out, there's zero strikes, zero effect, zero strikes of uh, any rounds scraping or touching the uh, exit, the five thousandths on each side. Uh, if you have a good barrel and it's concentric, uh, it, you shouldn't have uh, any problems with that. One thing that I'll recommend is to put maybe a third or even a quarter of a drop of blue Loctite on this threaded portion. It's basically a thread protector when they're not stacked that you put you know, just a quarter drop of blue Loctite on there and uh, crank that down good with a, uh, a strap wrench. If you ever need to get that done, you can heat the compensator a little bit and, uh, and remove that. All right, let's start talking about the configuration of these. Basically, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns of porting, about four rows deep this way. So we shot initially with three complete columns plugged, so a total of 12 plugged holes. And as soon as I shot, the muzzle went dip straight down and dramatically. You'll see that on the shooting portion at the last third of this video. So there was way too much compensation from the top of the compensator to push it downwards and not enough exiting gas out the bottom. So it had such a dramatic effect we immediately removed half or six of those set screws at the bottom and uh, we just kind of went willy-nilly and guessed. We wanted to kind of spread out the gas. We didn't want any specific area of the comp to uh, have a dramatic effect of gas exit with a dramatic effect of blocking that gas right next to it. So in so many words, we kind of feathered the result of the exiting gas over a broad area and uh, through a little bit of trial and error, which you'll see some of, at least uh, our range session two, you'll see how that kind of changes. Now, one thing you'll want to do once you get this all dialed in and you figure out exactly how this compensator is, is running and you get this dialed in for a particular type of ammo, if you're shooting 223, it's going to have a certain characteristic. If you're shooting a uh, higher pressure 5.56, five, it's going to have another recoil characteristic. And uh, tune it into the ammo that you're most likely going to shoot the most of and uh, and then leave it. Now it's always adjustable, you can come back later, but there will be a little bit of work involved and uh, I guess I can touch on that now. When you install these screws, I recommend red or green Loctite. Uh, it might scare some people, but apply a little heat to this and these will back out fine, no problem. As a matter of fact, I have green Loctite on these four plugs right now and we were actually adjusting those uh, and removing them with a hot compensator without uh, any you know stripped uh, screw heads or any any problem so start with red if you ever see any of these loosen at all you might want to go to green I had green available to me and I didn't want to mess around so I used green but by heating this back up 
you can apply you can put the uh, uh, Allen key on these and uh, and remove them no problem not a big deal likewise if you're going to be tuning this or retuning it to a a different load or a different rifle um, these ports here that have not been used and still have uh, threads in them eventually they will get a buildup of carbon and in order to reinstall new set screws for again retuning you're going to have to chase this with a tap in order to cut that carbon out of there so not a big deal since we're not dealing with many many ports in this case only four that were plugged you're not going to have to do that to a lot of ports you know you might select uh, half a dozen at the most chase those with a tap and you'll be in business again there was one point in which DC and I and Copper Top were all shooting and we initially took out six of those 12 uh, plugs that I guessed at that were kind of around the six o'clock position S six o'clock seven o'clock position I kind of split it because I wanted to reduce that that one o'clock uh, rise that's typical for a right-handed shooter and uh, what we did is we got down to six we removed one more noticed that it was still going down just a little bit and we removed one more out of this area here and we just about had it perfect for 223 so it was a very impressive uh, comp hardly anything felt felt in the shoulder now with anything you're, there's going to be some subjective opinion involved in this and you'll notice that I speci specifically asked my uh, test shooters to tell me what they thought of it just aesthetically um, the way it looked the way everything worked and uh, um, it is a very highly machine beautifully executed comp they really did a nice job now it is kind of plain Jane looking in that it does it's not conformal with the barrel now in a, a, a bull barrel or something like that this would butt up nice and tight and it would be nice and conformal with the barrel but this one kind of flares out and sticks out there a bit uh, but um, you know ultimately what I'm concerned about is the way that it performs it does have a lot of forward weight about five ounces of forward weight if you stack these you got ten ounces on the end of your barrel um, again I can't ever see myself stacking two of these not on any standard barrel rifle if you had something that was really thin and you just wanted to you know I can't imagine anyone thinking that they would need it but if they wanted to test it and try it and put a second comp out front let's say they had two comps uh, and just wanted to see what it would do um, you know, I have no doubt that it would help. Tuning is going to be a little bit more complicated because you got to figure out what ports uh, you're going to do what with. My guess, or my inclination, is to say that you would leave this one fully open and go ahead and decide what ones you're going to plug on the forward uh, stacked system. So, just because you have more gas leverage, the further out you go. The finish does appear to be just a. Uh, a, a blued finish, uh, perhaps it's cold blued. I would like to see more of a, a mil spec finish on there um, of some type, you know, black phosphate, um, something that would be just a little bit more durable. This is an initial run. I suspect that uh, in the future they'll be putting uh, different finishes on these. Okay, guys, let's head on off to the shooting portion. I think I've covered everything that I need to cover here. I uh, wanted to thank Predator Armament again for sending this to me and allowing me to test it and uh, actually I'm gonna get to keep this one which is really special I don't often get to keep the gear that I test but uh, really really nice of them to do that um, I will post a discount code that will help you guys out on shipping a little bit it's going to be FN Patriot and that's gonna save you about ten dollars on shipping they do have a, a minimum shipping it's kinda like a county com or something like that where um, they're kinda stuck with the shipping that they have but uh, that will definitely help you guys out so go ahead and use that if you're gonna order one of these I'm also going to post links both in the video and down in the uh, description box uh, for a couple of their sister uh, clothing companies so uh, go ahead and check those out and uh, enjoy the uh, shooting portion guys